Will the Boeing 797 be a success or a flop? You might have heard about Boeing in the media recently, so cue the montage of news clips saying Boeing. Boeing's ad news for Boeing. Boeing Max Boeing. Oh, the manufacturer of Boeing. In the past decade, Boeing has been plagued with a plethora of issues. From faulty batteries grounding the 787 in 2013, the two Ethiopian and Lion Air 737 MAX 8 crashes due to a malfunctioning MCAS sensor, and the Alaskan Airlines door plug incident with a 737 MAX 9. The company now seeks to hopefully return to its once greater self in the aviation market with the 797 project, designed to likely replace the 737 airframe, which is currently about 57 years old at the time of posting. In this video, I will give insight as to if the 797 will be Boeing's well-needed savior or the biggest flop in aviation history. First, we need to understand a bit of history as to what brought us to this point in Boeing's history. The Boeing 737 program began with the 737-100, which first flew in April 1967, a decade which brought us a multitude of influential aircraft, such as the 747 in 1970 and the Concorde in 1976. The 737 program saw the release of 15 different variants with ranging capabilities and the aircraft went on to become one of the most popular aircraft for the airlines due to its versatility as a narrow body coupled with a decent range. As the 737 airframe ages, Boeing constantly adds new features to modernize the aircraft and increase fuel efficiency or range. Though not all these new features are easily implemented, as the most recent of the 737 family, the MAX series, has a variety of issues. These issues ranged from two deadly Ethiopian and Lion Air crashes due to a faulty MCAS sensor, which would pitch the aircraft down in the indication of the incipient stall phase. Then, more recently, the 737 MAX 9 Alaskan Airlines flight having one of the doors fall off in flight, with NTSB finding that there were missing bolts from the door plug that failed. These problems are traced back to a horde of cost-saving measures and the separation of Boeing's corporate headquarters and their engineers at their factories such as Everett Washington as the company tried to increase profits. Now time to answer the most burning question. What will the 797 be designed for? Originally, the Boeing 797, when the project began in roughly 2015, the company envisioned an aircraft to replace its older workhorses such as the 737 and 757, which were two of the most popular aircraft for airlines made by Boeing. Early in the design phase, the aircraft was slated to be in size comparable to the older 757 or 767. Though as the pandemic that began in 2020 rolled around, the need for aircraft the size of the 757 or 767 drastically decreased as air travel slowed and it wasn't as profitable for airlines to operate larger aircraft on shorter flights. Though, as the pandemic came to a relative close, air travel demand has begun to soar, returning to pre-pandemic levels and in some cases even higher, which leads to new demand for mid-sized aircraft like the 757 or 737 that have improved fuel efficiency and a modern airframe. Now, all we can do at this time is to speculate as to what the design of this aircraft could be, as Boeing has not formally released a confirmed design for the airframe. Though we can heavily infer based off of market demands and previous successes by Boeing. What I believe this aircraft could look like is an airframe based off of the 787, but smaller. I expect the aircraft will have a greater range than the 737 family, but less range than the long haul 787, but with greater fuel efficiency compared to the current 737 MAX series. So, will the Boeing 797 be the savior Boeing needed? It's hard to tell if this plane will be the plane they need to save their reputation as time will only tell. Though, as long as the 797 doesn't have similar cost-cutting measures that plague the 737, then Boeing could be promised a successful future for the 797 family. As the airline market desperately needs a fuel-efficient mid-sized aircraft, 
that are versatile. Anyways, that is going to do it for the video. I hope you all enjoyed. If you haven't already, be sure to leave a like and subscribe as it helps me a ton. Dream big and fly high.